Yesterday it was a very abysmal performance from the Black Stars losing 3-0 to the Desert Foxes of Algeria in the pre-Afcon warm-up game. Well, a very uninspiring performance I have with me, coach Abdul Faisal Chipsa, who is the head of recruitment for Charlotte FC in uh, the United States. Uh, to discuss going forward what should be done to ensure Milo Van Rijvac and the Black Stars get us a very better performance. Faisal, not the very best of performances we saw yesterday. Can you help us to identify technically what the issues with the Black Stars are? Good afternoon, Kevin. Um, yeah, just like you said, I think uh, we left that game with a lot of homework to do. Um, and in games like that, as you look to prepare your team for a major tournament, I think uh, the one thing you at least want to get out of it is how your teams are lined up and structured on the pitch. And unfortunately, I don't think um, we were able to to walk home with that. It doesn't look like there's a clear understanding, um, roles and responsibilities defined for the players. So um, what I gathered was that we struggled to perform uh, collectively as a team. And it's a shame that uh, we only have about what, four days to our first up in the game. And um, to still have players that are yet to arrive or yet to compete in a game to see where the potentials are. I think it's a lot of a disadvantage for, for Milo going into his first game. Mm. Now, with this, he gave opportunity to uh, most of the French players to play in goalkeeping. He allowed two players to be in there. And uh, for all the outfield players, it looks like the two impressive players were Joseph Pinsel and Abdel Fatal Isahaku. Would this be a bit of worry on his head, whether to depend on the old gangs or just uh, resort to using the players he used against Algeria yesterday? That's absolutely right, Kevin. And then if you go into tournaments like this, you, you really want to depend on the whole squad. But at 22 or 28, uh, you should be able to count on your on your substitutes should they be uh, given opportunity to compete. And what we saw yesterday clearly tells us that some of our players may not be ready. I think we may have a potential of 10 or 11 to compete. But the, uh, the worry now is one of those you know, players should go out Know, who, who's going to step in and, and, and um, keep the level and the standard going. And just like you mentioned, I was very impressed with uh, Fatal and, and, and Pento in that game. So at least you can say you have those two in. But everybody else would be a worry for me as a coach going into that tournament. Um, it really is it's difficult looking at our chances of, of uh, winning the Mundial here. All right, coach, but very quickly, going into that game on Monday, please, what should be done to make sure we have a very good result against Morocco? Look, you may have to depend on, on set pieces at this point. I think it's probably too late to kind of say you want to uh, put a team together. It's not too late, but it's, it's definitely late in, in the season now. Um, you may have to depend on the experienced guys. It's more of a mindset game now, in my opinion. Um, whatever they can do to keep the guys motivated, you may have to depend on set pieces to get games. If you look again, yesterday we struggled to penetrate into their final third and even create goal scoring chances. So that's not going to happen in two, three days. So now I think set pieces would be another way that we can turn us down, shift our focus to, and that you can practice in, in two, three days. Um, that would be a weapon for us in terms of scoring goals. And of course, we would have to defend as well.